What up, peoples? Welcome back, Sadis Unfactory. <laughs> Before I say anything, I just spent a bunch of time getting everything together to unlock this, the geothermal generator. 50 supercomputers. It was no joke. I made it all by hand like an idiot. All right. We're going to start that research. It's going to take eight minutes. So, geothermal power. I've got a good bunch of comments from you guys somebody said move the coal move all the coal generators like from there over get them out of the way open up this this whole area which i might do i don't know yet um somebody else actually laid out about putting down the refineries is like it just offhand i'm like put three down and it said like what to do reverse the last one and it'll produce coal coke and you can power your generators with it so if i had the generators over there i could have because at first i'm like well why do i want to do that right i don't have a problem with coal now but what i do have a problem with is like i'm not using some of this residual stuff and even the way i have this set up now we got plenty to do today. I just need that thing to go. So the way I, I changed this, I think, since the last episode. So I have this producing plastic because I need boatloads of plastic. Boatloads. But its offshoot is this oil residue. Okay? And so what I did was I stacked another thing up there. And I just come over here periodically and drain it. What I also did was I pulled a conveyor out. I didn't want to do have to do this, but I needed to. I'm running plastic that way, and I'll show you over there. I set up another little area because I had to get circuit boards automated. So I do have circuit boards automated. So that's the uh, first one. The second one is doing the um, the resin. So I'm making fuel and resin, and then this one over here is not being used. Wait, am I only using two? It is being used. Oh yeah, it is. Okay. So the resin is coming here with water, right? So I did water, pretty cool, right here. Come up through the ground, using the resin byproduct to make plastic here. So I'm making plastic in, in an alternate method. And this one is providing fuel, this fuel here. This is some remainder there, and see this is providing fuel in the resin. So this is a good combo. Making fuel, using the resin with water to make plastic, and then that one's making plastic. Now if I could figure out what I could use that, that heavy residual stuff for, this stuff. Uh, it says, can be further refined into fuel and petroleum coke. So probably, that's probably what he's talking about. If I was going to make, yeah, make petroleum coke with it, then my setup that I have right now could keep going. One fuel, two plastic, and then the byproduct of one of, of, the, of this one, make petroleum coke, and send that over to power some of the coal thingies. So that's an option, right? And I, really good, really good comments from you guys. I appreciate it. One question I got for you though is like, I see the views are dropping pretty hard. I'm spending hours and hours in between episodes on this and there's a lot to do still. Like a lot more high tech stuff. So if you guys are enjoying the series, make sure you catch every episode because to me when the viewership dies off, it looks like you guys aren't interested anymore. But I mean, that's what kind of sucks playing, you know, doing YouTube and playing these games is you come across a game like this that's super fun to play and but it takes a long time and you lose interest in it you not me in watching it which I get you get bored if I'm not doing a good enough job or whatever but I do see some people able to run like hundreds of episodes on the same thing this is one of those games that oh it's driving me nuts though the thing that drives me nuts about this game is my organization I can't you have to do what, what I did as you go. But then you get to a point where you you need to organize. And it's almost like you need to completely rebuild your factories. So, I look, I extended out. This was all just dirt, right? Here's what I did. I had to get 
surprisingly, I didn't realize this at the time, but now I do. These three products, not really these, as much as this copper sheet and these cables are being heavily used right now in the making of circuit boards, AI limiters, and high-speed connectors. So what I did was I came... I only have one copper node I'm using. This one. And it was only going up to supply two smelters up there that were making uh, wire and sheet, right? I wasn't even making cable. I was making it by hand because I didn't need it. Now I need it. It uses huge chunks. So what I did was I said, well, I don't need... I can go find another copper node, but I don't need to. If you look at... I upgraded this to Mark II. All right, so we have a Mark II. No overclocks. I did a, a, a splitter here. Went up, brought over to here to a so I could triple split it. Three smelters, right? Three constructors making um, wire, sheet, and wire. Then wire coming out of this one into this constructor making cable. Then this sheet that I'm pulling here and that that conveyor I showed you from over there, I'm, I routed it here, and I'm coming into this assembler, right? And we're making circuit boards. And this is what I've made so far. It's very slow. So here's what I need to do right now. No matter what, it's a must. I need to find more slugs to make more overclock power shards. It's an absolute must. There's so many machines I need to overclock. That computer one is one of them. All right. So we're going to go look. And I think I need this. The object scanner. I think I need this for that. I'm going to take my jetpack, some fuel, right? I'm just getting ready to head out because we're going to go find this geyser too. Because it's that's supposed. I'm thinking about making a beacon because I think these beacons mark areas of interest and display, displays in your compass. So I'm going to make a beacon. That way I can. Because I'm. I'm 100% sure I'm not going to be able to craft a geyser. The stuff it took to unlock it. Look at the, I mean, you saw what I had, right? 50 supercomputers. Did I never start the research? Oh, yeah, I did. I'm like, what the heck? 50 supercomputers. Let me just give you a hint at that. That took 100 regular computers, which took 1,000 circuit boards to make. 100 regular computers, 100 AI limiters, 150 high-speed connectors, and 1,400 plastic. Not to mention the plastic it took me to make about 1,400 uh, circuit boards. Because 1,000 went just to the, ten, the 100 computers, and the other ones went to, uh, I think, the AI limiters. Oh, just, and I'm not set up making that stuff yet. I could. Look, this that's the reason I set up those com the circuit boards over there cuz I'm like, look, I'm doing all this other stuff. I might as well no matter how sloppy it is. Hold on. New buildings, new scannable research. Okay. So, power. Power switch that's from before. All right, this one does on a impure node it'll do 50 to 150 normal it'll do 100 to 300 and a pure it'll do 200 to 600 with an average of 400 so that's pretty good it's pretty good and the thing that attracted me to it was i don't need to supply it with coal i don't need to supply it with fuel it's supplied by steam coming out of the ground right so what does it take to make it eight supercomputers it's actually not not terrible. It's still still a lot of stuff. All right, so we should be able to scan for geyser now. Right there. Oh. That's it. One way over there. Looks like they're all over there. 350 meters, that's not that far. I'm trying to remember in all my 
things back here. Did I see a geyser? I probably did and just didn't know. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I should probably also bring my mask just in case. I got a, I got all <laughs> I got all these things now, but I only have one slot, so All right, my mask. Uh ma, 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 ma. do I have my rebar gun still? Yes, I do. All right. Let's go find this thing. I hope this close one is a pure one. My luck, it won't be. I don't really... I don't know. What I was thinking when I saw it in the research table, I'm like, hmm. I don't have to make any more ga those gas thingies. You know, that would be good. I'm seeing two geysers are right here now. Could be up on top. Uh, da, 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 da. Get up by, get on up. What a guy. Oh, wait, I did. I do remember him now. Remember this area? Oh, yeah. There they are right there. I remember jumping in this pool, this pond, this uh, jacuzzi hot tub, and going, hmm. I wonder if this is acid or something. I do remember seeing these now. It didn't click at the time, though, you know? If you remember, I was right over there. I'm like, why? what's what's here being protected by all these trees? I'm guessing this is it. Oh, it's pure! Just for sake of argument, let's see what this one is. These are really cool looking normal here it is buddy i don't even think i need to mark this but i will because i can how do you use this beacon oh you put it in your hands enter name i'm gonna put guy hi guy did i miss the save portion says pick up guy enter there we go not that i needed that it's really close all right so that's cool we have a pure and we have a normal so it's not impure but this one will be good put together a geyser for power <clears throat> oh boy Hey, you guys, it literally took me two hours to make all that stuff. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. Well, automate. I, I understand. But, you know, you can get lost. Don't even look back here. It's so ugly. You can get lost in building machines and automating and never make any advancements. Doing that stuff by hand is a shortcut. But here's the thing. While I'm doing that, I'm also in here and all my machines are producing, right? So that's, oh, we forgot. Slugs, that was our main thing. We need, I need slugs for days. Okay. So why did I take off my good stuff here? All right. Um, power slugs. See, that's not good. Remember what I said before my my machine wasn't working. Even when I saw a slug, it wasn't in range. So what do you do? You just have to run around. I'm trying to think. You know what? I, I tried. I hit M to try and pull up a map. Look, I collected slugs out that way. I went out this way pretty good. I went up there. I got two purple slugs up there. You know where I haven't really done a lot? Is over there where the oil is. Over where the oil is. The, the, uh, you know what? I'm thinking, I, so I went up. Can you see it from here? I went up there and went that way. I didn't go up there and go that way. I'm going to go up there 
and go that way. All right. Um, and I took down my little thingy that I had here. Do -do 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 -do. See, this is what I like. This this look here, but. Imagine this, and I know you probably said the same thing when you saw this. You're like, yeah, that looks really cool, Meaty, but what are you going to do when you have to pull from that machine and that machine into a machine here? Or that machine, that one, and that one down there into, or four of them into assembler? Yeah, it's going to be nightmarish. My idea was possibly to put lifts there going up and backward going back across it and going through the, yeah, I don't know. It's going to be a mess. It's going to be a mess. So in theory, I think whoever said move that stuff might be better because I think you need width. But I think that really you need length, right? If you think of the first floor, right? Think of the first floor where I came in, right? I came in the wall and I went right into a smelter, then a constructor. And then I... Or, I split into two smelters, two constructors, some assemblers, and then into storage. And then out of that, you'd go next level stuff like, you know, another assembler making circuit boards. But you, you just keep going longer and longer. So it, it's like one long stretch if your end result is going to be, say, a supercomputer. If you were going to build supercomputers, right? You have the assembler at the end, but leading up to it, you need AI limiters. You need... High-speed connectors, you need circuit boards, you know? You need to make computers, regular computers. You need screws to make computers. It just, it's crazy. It is just nuts. I'm trying to think if I should, um, see if I take off, if I have my, I was thinking, should I run jetpack? Should I run gas mask or should I run exo legs? Here's what I'm thinking. If I have exo legs, right? If I have jetpack, I can fly a little bit. But if I have exo legs when I get up there, I can sprint through the gas, and I can also sprint away from um, from bad dudes. <clears throat> you know what I didn't bring was a parachute. I wonder if like will I have the wherewithal if I fall to go in there, click over my jetpack at the la at while I'm whilst I'm falling. Dangerous up here. Super dangerous. But I'm in desperate need of, of overclockers. I hope there's not a limited amount to the slugs, but maybe any an alternate recipe. Yeah, radiation's kicking in already. And these dudes are no joke. Oh, oh, shoot, there's a lot of radiation. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, that's right. These legs prevent me from taking too much damage when I fall. So the answer to my question is no, I won't be able to do it fast enough. Oh. I don't know if it's up top or down here. So I wasn't able to do that as I was falling. So you see these arches? I think it was during a stream. These arches out over there. I found two slugs like high on the arches. And this this is before I had... Uh, I don't think I have enough juice to get up there. No. Um, this is before I had the legs or the jetpack. So it was kind of gutsy doing that. Something over here again? All right, let's go to this one, and then we know there's another one over over there somewhere. So I did look. I'm thinking, okay, here's my thought process, right? So think of constructors, not really smelters. The smelters are doing fine. They're, they're outputting faster than the assemblers or the constructors can deal with it. So my thought was, all right. You need to use constructors and assemblers. Is there another one up there? Do they go back to where they... Oh, shoot. Uh, you 
can see that I was up here. See, I climbed all the way up there. I guess I'll go back up there. Um, what I was saying was the um, you need the constructors <clears throat> and the assemblers even in the late game process, right? So I'm like, well, is there, do I get another machine? It's not up here. Trying to vi visually, it's it's actually if you go see all that area over there, I haven't been any of that area over there. Did say one was over here though, but up here it's not. What is this? Samor, bauxite. I think I'm gonna need bauxite later on. It's the uh, how you make aluminum. Anyway, well, again, what I was saying, long story long. So I'm like, okay, is there another machine that's more efficient, faster than the constructor and all that? It must be way low. Yeah, it's beeping as I go down. too far there it is purple slug right there purple's good that makes I think two the yellow ones are the cheap ones I'm never gonna finish my story am I that over there now um, so I thought maybe like the assembler right uh, not the assembler, the um, whatever that four input one is. I'm like, oh, maybe you can make some of that stuff with that. Wait, there's one there. Nothing back this way. Getting closer. But what I found was, no, there's not. You know, the assembler, that one thing, it's not faster, and it doesn't make the same things. Basically, what I came up with is I still have to use the constructor and the assembler. So, that's why I need these uh, power slugs to overclock them. Wait, is there not... Oh, you have to actually apply it. Where did it go? Why is it not beeping anymore? Oh, it's right there. That guy's gonna knock me off into the abyss, isn't he? Oh, shoot! Oh, no! I just died. I just lost all my stuff. Oh, uh, fall in the water. Fall in the water. Oh, my God! I'm an idiot. I am an idiot. I got it, though. And I got this one, too. Ha-ha! <laughs> I totally planned it. <laughs> anyway, my the point is that I can't make for, like, ten minutes of talking is that I need, I need overclockers because I need to make screws faster. I need to make those, those uh, circuit boards faster. Ultimately... When I get up to the computers, supercomputers, then yeah, I can use the other machines, but still, I need to feed it in. And somehow, some way, I had 16 overclockers at one point. They're all used up, and I went back through my machines to see what I could what I could take it out of, and nothing really. If I go through here, maybe down on this level. That's the first time I used the gas mask, by the way. Pretty cool. 
Out of range. I'm going t farther away. Huh. Saw a beep. I'm closing in on one. There's still another one over there. Would be nice to get some of the um, the ones that make five sluggies. This is all area over here that I, I haven't I haven't been through. Testing out my legs, see if I can outrun these fools. Okay, it's beeping back there. I passed it up. Breaking news from Earth. Widespread chaos and mayhem. World President urges all citizens to do their part and harvest alien artifacts. Yeah, I've been doing that and you're giving me nothing. Oh, I see one down there. It's a blue one. Oh, shoot. Come on, meaty. Get on the stupid thingy. I saw another yellow one down farther. I saw it right there. Oh, surrounded by douchebaggery, huh? Okay. I see what you're doing here. Where'd your friend go? Come on. Oops. Oh, double flankage. Double flankage! Uno mas. Where are you? Wow, those guys. They really like to turn, don't they? You coming back? All right. Getting slugs for days. It's the only thing I can think of, right? Is to make more overclockers. What did we end up with so far? We have one blue, one purple, and three yellow. Huh. Oh! You jerk! I better. Oh, look at my health. Why didn't you guys say something? I almost died. Mmm, <laughs> barrel nuts. Delicious. All right. Anything else over here? Oh. Could be up there. Well, wow, this uh, this world is a lot bigger than I than I expected. I don't know if it's up or down. Be easier to uh, to go down after I go. Oh, there's a blue one over there. Look at that. There's a blue one right there. I couldn't see on my scanner, but I visually could see it. This is pretty cool. This uh, this area here. I I did when I first launched this thing. I I, I checked out the um, the other world. I think it's, is it blue powers? I don't remember which gives you what. Oh, shoot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm stuck. That's my jetpack not working. Great. I'm literally stuck here, you guys. You see my body? I'm stuck. And I didn't bring my chainsaw. I thought I'd come back in here and let you know I've got out of that situation. I, I've still been hunting. You can see from I was all the way down in that down there. 
down around this corner on the bottom, I found raw quartz uh, nodes. The first quartz nodes that I found. I'll show you how many slugs I've gotten. So we've got nine blue, three purple, and five yellow slugs. And I got to find my way back home. But dude, this area back here, it's crazy. There was some spitters down by the raw quartz that like one shot me. I think I was a little low on health, but dude, it was bad. So I did the same thing. I just exited out, came back in, and it was just before they killed me, so that was good. But I went all the way out there. That's where I died over the, or uh, got stuck over there. Then I came back, was hopping along these things. A lot of this, I found one right down there. I've been making platforms, flying to the platforms. A lot of the stuff is, uh, it's weird with this this searcher. A lot of it I'm seeing by visual. I wonder if that's that the coal that I was looking for early on. Remember I went I went below then I went up top and This thing I figured out a little bit better. It's like if it's above me, if I point up to it, it'll actually indicate better than if I'm just straight in one direction. I don't really know where I'm at, to be honest with you guys. I'm in the poison flower field right now. But I've got some stuff, and I know that I can come over here again. There's a lot to be had over here. And I, again, I don't know if they respawn or what, but this area was, was untouched. And I've got a fair amount of them. I don't remember which color gives you what. I think I've, I think I've done okay way to get up there. I like to get up top there. Oh, something in here. Maybe up top. Oh, poison. So my thing's back over there. I'm in a whole new area. This is like my oil thing should be over there somewhere. So this is kind of a new area for me. It's hard to tell. I think it's in the poison. Better heal first. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go on this. These four on here. I'm going to take a chance and use my gas mask. Filter? How do you apply the filter? I thought I did it before. Clicking, shift clicking, right clicking, shift right clicking. Showing that it doesn't have any filter on it. Oh, there it auto it auto engaged. Oh, there it is, right on the edge. I want to get punted off here. Jetpack. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. What am I doing? I just saw that. Look, I was just off to the side of my area that I came up. That's interesting. It had a little walkthrough area right there. All right. So we're, we're home homebound, James. I found that the jetpack, man, it kind of blows. If you just want to go straight up like straight up you can't actually go very far so what i would do is like this i would build, put a platform way up there drop a ladder down then i would jetpack to the ladder kind of doubling or tripling my distance then i started making a lot of things around because man th those slugs were everywhere before we go i d i don't remember so i'm gonna show you guys hopefully 
I'm sure the the big amount that I got is the single power core. I don't remember what color. I guess it. I think it's the purple slugs that give you five. I don't know. Let's go check. Let's go check. Good option to take all that stuff with me. All right, so power shards. It's the purple that make five. It's the yellow that make two. And it's the blue ones that are the cheap ones. Okay. So I had none. We're going to end up with, what, nine... 21, 30 something. All right, cool. Anyway, this was definitely needed. Very dangerous, but really fun. Whole nother aspect to the game. The only thing I wish I had more body slots. I mean, I guess if you were, had the jetpack and the legs, man, you'd be kind of unstoppable. No armor. You just got to deal with it. Something better to kill some of those fools. All right, you guys, that's it for me. Thanks for watching.